If Chameli had rupees six hundred left after spending seventy five percent of her money, how much did she have in the beginning? Welcome to Mathotropism. So if Chameli had rupees six hundred left after spending seventy five percent of her money, that means she had some money in hand, and she spent seventy five percent of that money. That means what? If she had hundred rupees, it means that she has spent seventy five rupees. Similarly, she had some amount and she has spent six hundred in that. So how much did she have in the beginning? So we have to calculate how much did she start with before she started spending. So let us take the amount which she had in the beginning be x. So we know that the amount left after spending is six hundred rupees, and if we take the percentages, we know that the amount spent is in percentage is seventy five. We know the percentages are out of hundred, so it means out of a total amount of hundred, she has spent seventy five. So how much will be left? So the percentage of amount left means hundred minus seventy five, which means it is twenty five. Now we have four vari four quantities, and we by using Unitary method, we are going to find the x. So we will be writing the headings as the total amount and the beginning and the amount left. So here, when the amount is x, the amount left is six six hundred. And when she had a hundred rupees, she has with her an amount left of rupees twenty five. So we will do cross multiplication and keep the x on the left hand side. So it comes as twenty five into x is six hundred into hundred. We try to keep the x on the left hand side and bring the twenty five down. So it becomes six hundred into hundred divided by twenty five. Since it was in multiplication on LHS, it went to division in the RHS. So we will now simplify hundred into six hundred by twenty five. We know that hundred and twenty five twenty five both are multiples of five because the last digit is zero and five. So it is divisible by five. When we strike out a hundred, we have the first two digits as ten. So the quotient we can write as five. Two is a ten, and since there is no remainder, the balance zero we can directly write. Similarly, the multiple five is where we get five five is a twenty five. Again, we can see that twenty and five are divisible by five, so five ones are five and five fours are twenty. Now, when four into six hundred we do, we get the answer as two thousand four hundred rupees. Therefore, the amount Chameli had in the beginning is rupees two thousand four hundred.